In this video, we're gonna take a look at some Thunder add-ons that can help you fill your scenes with crowds, insects, birds, and swarms of all kinds. These tools actually work using nodes and can give you control over movement, behavior, and placement. And they actually require no simulation, no baking, and it is just fast, with editable motion that reacts the way that you want. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's start with procedural crowds. So if you ever needed to fill up a street, stadium, concert, or even a battlefield with animated people, but you don't want your project to become a mess that is filled with keyframes and menu placements, then this is your answer. This add-on is actually developed by the guys behind add-ons such as procedural alleys, and it uses geometry nodes to generally fully animate crowds with a system that is modular, optimized, and can be honestly super customizable. You've got six different crowd types that you can start with. Each one is designed for a specific setup. You will find a linear audience, a circle layout, marching formations, in addition to curve following crowds, stadium setups, and even randomized wandering types. All of them can be customizable to follow a terrain, avoid obstacles, or look at specific targets. I personally found curve following and random walker types the most fun to play around with. You just draw a curve, drop a crowd on it, and they animate automatically. And if you want your characters to look like they are strolling down a market street or running around a park, you can do that too. And you are not just limited to some generic models either. The pack comes with over 30 high quality variations based on 20 scanned human models, complete with different textures and accessories. Also, animations can change depending on the type of crowd that you have in your scene, like idle standing, walking, cheering, or whatever the context might be. And if you don't need the entire crowd, you can also place individuals manually and assign them their own animations. And this is exactly what you need for building scenes where you want to focus on certain individuals or characters, while at the same time, you have also a crowd. Now, if you are tired of animated insects in Blender, especially things like swarms or crawling bugs, you already know how messy and time-consuming that can get. Modeling the creatures, rigging them, animating them, and figuring out how to move them as a group. It is just not fun. But this add-on called Insect Swarm can help you with that, because it gives you a full procedural system for animating swarms of insects. You've got a full collection, of 21 animated low-poly insects, including flying ones, crawling types, and even a segmented centipede system with its own special movement style. Once you drop your insects into a collection, you can immediately assign them to either a flying or crawling swarm and just hit play. And that's when the fun starts. Because these aren't just random loops. They respond to attraction points, avoidance zones, and even curved paths, which you can draw directly into your scene. You can also guide a swarm of moths through a cave or make ants trail along a wall like it is nothing. In addition, the system also gives you a proper control over things like scale, spread, speed, randomization, and movement behavior. And if you want your swarm to behave more randomly, you can just adjust a few values. But if you want it to follow a perfect flow, toss in a guide curve and it will wrap right around it. Now we're gonna talk about Geoswarm, which is one of the most flexible creature simulation tools when it comes to swarm behavior. It is built actually around a simple idea. Spawn large groups of animated creatures, like bugs, birds, fish, rats, you name it, and make them move in believable and dynamic ways using geometry nodes. The best part is that it doesn't feel like a technical tool, because you can get really compelling results without digging through a no spaghetti. And there are two versions, standard and premium. The standard versions give you the base system with a solid handful of assets. But if you go premium, you can unlock a full library of over 50 rigged and animated creatures. And of course, the models are clean, looped, and optimized for use right out of the box. Now, what really makes this add-on shine is how the swarming logic works. Each swarm is tied to a surface and the creatures respect that geometry. So if you have a terrain with hills or slopes, the bugs will naturally crawl over it. And if you want birds that flock through space, 
or two nice women in looping paths. You just switch the creature type, hit play, and you're good to go. In addition, it supports curves for path following, attraction and avoidance collections, and even barriers that creatures can pass through. Plus, you can randomize things like speed, direction, and size for more realism. So I would say generally speaking, whether it is a fantasy, horror, nature, or sci-fi scene, Duo Swarm can help you do some great things. Now we're gonna talk about Flock Generator, which is probably one of the cleanest, most efficient ways to simulate flocks of birds flying through your blender scenes. This add-on is actually focused and to the point. You're not wading through a bunch of menus or overwhelming controls. This is actually geometry nodes doing what they do best, procedural movement, but with full creative control. You will get a full set of pre-built bird flocks that you can drag directly into your scene from the asset browser, and they are ready to go right away. The core of this add-on works through a curve system, so all you have to do is drop the flock and then edit the curve to define the flight path. But you can also change speed, count, seed randomness, and even loop the animation, so it can keep cycling cleanly. And if you want the birds to fly in a tight formation, or break off slightly for a more natural look, just play around with the sliders, like waviness, intensity, in addition to other settings to fine-tune how chaotic or organized the motion feels. There is also a nice bit of polish in how it handles things like flight offset, so not every bird starts from the same time or the same point. You also have path visibility and real-time adjustments to the path, which is great if you're balancing detail and performance. And yeah, it can handle thousands of birds, literally, and it is optimized to stay fast, even with dense flocks which I found really interesting. And if you're curious, this actually makes it great for things like cinematic fly-throughs, stylized nature scenes, or even eerie horror shots with dark crows circling overhead, in addition to other ideas that you can implement yourself. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about Fly Swarm. This one is built specifically for those movement when you want to add a subtle layer of realism or discomfort. Whether it is a grimy dumpster corner, a riding monster, or just a hot summer forest buzzing with life. What actually makes Fly Swarm stand out is its simplicity, because you're not working with big simulations or some particle trickery, it is all procedural, handled through geometry nodes. And you have lots of control, like adjusting how many flies appear, how tightly they swarm, how fast they move, and how random their motion feels, and the effect itself is surprisingly detailed. Generally speaking, it is a nice tool, but really a valuable one. Like for example, if you are doing some horror, post-apocalyptic, or some nature scenes. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.